Hey everybody, welcome back to How to Hitbox. I'm Dustin Huffer, and today we're going over the Tiger Knee Motion. Classically, that's any motion that you buffer on the ground, then jump, and cancel it into a special the instant you're off the ground. Like, Kenny's Cannon Spike here. Now, we're gonna get a little bit technical in this lesson, but just to sum it up generally, it's the fireball lesson we did, only adding the jump button to it. So, in this tutorial, we also use Tiger Knee in a pretty general sense. Like, we're going to start with uh, height restriction specials and then work our way up from there. So, Makoto, it's pretty easy. Um, like, Adon's Jaguar kick, you need to jump first and then input the move right after the height restriction. So, jump, then quarter circle back, and then kick. After you jump forward, you're right back to neutral and then put the motion. It's nice and clean and easy. Now, Fei Long's chicken wing here is actually the original type of motion. The only real difference between this and what we'll cover in a minute with Akuma is the timing of when you press attack. So quarter circle forward, then hold forward, and press jump and kick to finish the move. Um, to finish the chicken wing, it may make it easier to plink jump to kick. Since you have four frames before you actually leave the ground into a jump, um, just hit jump and kick in succession and it's no sweat. On that note, Akuma is essentially the same thing. Just wait until after the fourth frame it takes for him to get off the ground before you cancel the jump into his fireball. Um, the biggest mistake you'll make learning the Tiger Knee is that you'll actually do the input too fast. You have to roll the Tiger Knee, wait, and then press punch. You don't realize it, but your inputs are a lot faster now, and the best way to land that Tiger Knee 100% of the time is to treat it like it's a five frame link from your thumb on jump to the punch button. It's a rhythm that takes some patience and mastery to slow yourself down, but it's a fantastic thing that you're able to have this much control over what you're doing. So watch what my fingers are doing a few times and learn the timing from jump to attack and you'll be throwing TKs in there. I actually raised my ring finger a little bit to help with the timing to create more travel time and finishing my inputs. That really helps. Um, it's very easy once you get the feel for it. And once you learn Tiger Knee for one, you've learned it for all of them. So, uh, But in regards to being on the left or right side of the screen, using your right thumb for jump makes things a lot easier for you. Um, using your left thumb, it feels very different on either side of the screen, but when you use your right thumb, you feel exactly what the motion is and what's going on. You throw a fireball, and you add a jump. Moving right along to Dalsim and Tiger Kneeing a Dragon Punch motion, uh, what you do is you perform a Dragon Punch like normal, then press up, and then all three punches to set up the overhead. So since down plus up equals up, you can still land on your dragon punch with down forward and simply add the jump button. Um, the jump button makes you jump even though you're still holding down, and that sets up a really simple way to get those instant air teleports. Finally, we'll end with some viper motions. Her burn kick is quarter circle back and with a kick, uh, but if you want to speed that up and stay lower to the ground, just simply roll quarter circle back to do burn kick motion, and then press forward jump and kick. So you store the burn kick motion until you're off the ground. And jump and pull. Okay, so now to do a cross up burn kick, the like quarter circle back doesn't work. So you gotta jump forward and then do the quarter circle back, just like Makoto's axe kick. Um, so you'll cross your opponent up. Lastly, we can actually super jump our burn kick. So press and hold down forward and tap jump, and it will give us the super jump. And since we're still holding down forward after the super jump, it's really easy to roll quarter circle back from there. So time it correctly, and you can get a lot more range on your cross up burn kicks.